Security operatives in Abia State have discovered 50 decomposing corpses, including 20 headless ones, as well as countless skeletons during a raid of the forest around the Lokpanta Katu market in the Umoneuchi axis of the Enugun Port Arcot Expressway. The state governor, Alex Oti, made this known during the second edition of his monthly media chat in Umuahia, the state capital. He said the cartoon market was also discovered to be a place for kidnappers as a, rans as a ransom collection point. Joining me to discuss this is barrister Monde Ubani, legal practitioner, and I have deliberately against, you know, at the very, very high price for the month's congested diary. I have deliberately sought him because I know is uh, is close to the ground in in Abia State. Barista, good to have you on. Yeah, thank you. Sorry thank for you. any sorry for any inconveniences or disruption cost your busy diary, but this is national service too, and I know you are quite predisposed to that. Barista Obani, what is happening in Abia? Fifty decomposing bodies. Cad woman cadavers, 20 headless corpses. In any society, that should be alarming. Yes. So the question is, the, the question is on what now? On what happened in Abia State, is it not? Yes. Yes, the question is on what happened in Abia. You know, uh, as, reported, as reported by the governor himself. That 50 decomposing bodies and 20 endless bodies were found in a particular market. Yeah, that, that market is being occupied by our brothers. I think from the from the northern part of Nigeria, they are trading on on on, the, uh, on cows. And if you remember recently, the governor was saying that he, is, he wants to ensure that those who are staying there are well known and the, there is proper identification because of allegations of some level of criminality that has been going on, kidnappings and all that. So it's really surprising that uh, dead bodies were found near that particular market. And, and that, again, uh, uh, justified the fact that the, the governor has taken steps. Uh, before now to ensure that proper things are done in terms of identifying those who are trading there and all that, you know, to avoid a situation where this kind of criminality will go on unnoticed, you know, for, for which has been happening for a very long time, sir. Uh, Barista Obani, the governor yes, also... I don't, I don't know why I'm not hearing you very well, you know. It's like a bit far, but if I put it on speakerphone, I will hear you clearly, but if I put it on my ear in order to hear you, the audio is extremely a bit poor. I'm not hearing you on the conversation properly. I don't know what you can be done to improve the technology there. Uh, I, 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 I guess the people in the back room also have had uh, how inconvenient it is for you to to add value. I, yeah. I, I wish they could do anything, but is, is it any better now? You know, what happened is that I've now put it on speakerphone. Well, I don't know whether you'll be hearing me when we are speaking on speakerphone. I, 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 I'm you. hearing you. I'm hearing okay. you. Okay, go ahead then. Go ahead. Yeah. I said the unique thing for me and why this is of interest to me, although I go through to the SA media to the governor who has promised to join us tomorrow. But the unique thing for me is the fact that the governor also uh, asserted that it was the use of technology that helped in, in uh, unraveling uh, this gory, this gory uh, uh, situation. Would you perchance know what the government meant by the use of or the deployment of technology helping to uncover this? Yes, 